All right, it's late at night. You're perusing the kitchen. You're looking in the fridge, the cupboards, for anything sweet. You've got a sweet tooth, but you don't want to ruin your diet, right? This is the position a lot of us are in when we're trying to eat healthy, but let's be real, we're all human. We like chocolate, we like sweets. So what do we do? Well, we try to come up with alternatives. And I've been trying to do this for like a year, two years, try to come up with these different crazy recipes. And well, I must say they're not quite the same as an M&M, they can do the trick. So let me show you one of the ones that I have been using recently. So this is gonna sound funny, but it is avocado chocolate mousse. And you're probably thinking, Anna, that sounds disgusting. Avocados, mousse, chocolate does not go together. Well, don't knock it till you try it, I swear. Um, if you don't like it, so what? But I think it's absolutely delicious. And what's awesome about the avocado is it gives it that mousse consistency, but it's got all the good fats of an avocado and lots of nutrients for you. So let's just get started for that reason. Now, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a couple of good old ripe avocados. And let me go get my fancy knife over here. Um, I've already got one in the blender and you can use it really any kind of blender. This is a Ninja um, food processor or anything like that. And you're just gonna wanna dump your avocados in there two of them just plop them in there well not the skin we don't want that in there <laughs> and that will be your base for your mousse who doesn't love a good avocado right and it's okay if it's a little bit brown because it's still like edible it just looks a little bit brown all right, so now that you've got your avocado in the blender, what you're gonna want is some cocoa powder. Just Hershey's cocoa powder, this is special dark, but regular, it doesn't matter what you get actually. Cocoa powder is awesome because it gives you the chocolate flavor, but it has like nothing in it. It has like zero sugar, three carbs, and 0.5 fat, and 10 calories. So not really, it's not like you can go crazy on cocoa powder, right? Maybe you could, I don't know. But um, so you take about a fourth of a cup of that, this is a half cup, so I'll just do half of that. And that's probably good. Eh, just dump it in there. All right, and then you're gonna want to do a fourth of a cup of almond milk, or if you like, if you do dairy, you can do regular milk, you can do cashew milk, you can do whatever milk you want. I just happen to do almond milk. I like cashew milk or oat milk. Basically, whatever's on sale at the store, it is um, organic and, you know, unsweetened. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of these little sweeteners in. I like to use uh, monk fruit and stevia. It's a natural sweetener in um, monk fruit is especially a good one. So, it has zero calories, uh, zero fat, and two carbs. So, I'm going to put one or two of those in there. Just use them sparingly, they go a long way, let me tell you. So to put one, but if you think about it, the cocoa doesn't really have any sweetener and neither does the avocado, so I'm gonna do two. People can, people can also use maple syrup um, or honey. I, tr I don't do that, I'm trying to not do sugar as much, even the natural ones, but that's really up to you. All right, let's see what we have here. Um, okay, so let's bring the camera a little bit closer. We have got this amazing, I don't know if you can see, delectable, amazing looking avocado mousse. And this can be great, maybe with a little bit of, if you do a little bit of whipped cream, you could do a little bit of whipped cream on top. You could put chopped nuts, you could put, um, like dried coconut on it. And I'm just gonna put that in the container and then I'm gonna put that in the fridge to make it nice and cool so you can get it whenever you want. Okay. All right, so I just put some fresh uh, blackberries on here. 
and voila, look at that. Doesn't that look great? And you can just put that in the fridge. You can put it in the freezer and freeze it if you want. It could be like a little ice cream for you. But whenever you have a sweet tooth, you can just be like, ah, I got this avocado mousse. No, you're not going to tempt me, M&Ms.